you already know, it's Malibu Mitch, and I'm here with Trashy, ready to talk some trash. What makes a woman childish? I think um, how she carries herself. Like, if you be all over the place and you don't take care of your priorities, I think you're very childish. And if you overreact to certain situations, like, it's alright to be punching the wall in your crib. Like, I be punching walls, right? But to do it, like, in the public, yeah, that's childish. So, yeah. <laughs> What's your biggest turn off? Oh my God, all right, I'm very weird. So I got a thing with hands, right? <laughs> so like, if you got weird looking hands and like weird looking fingernails, I don't like that. And some guys like, I don't know, I wouldn't want to hold your hand. I wouldn't want you to keep touch me with those hands. Just like keep them away. But yeah, some guys have like nasty looking hands. Stop talking to somebody because they, I didn't like their hands. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but some people's like hands are like ugly. <laughs> Would I let my son date a woman like me? All right, it depends because I'm 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 very much a lady, right? But it honestly depends because like if I'm your girl, yeah, I would want him to have someone like moi. But if we talking, no, because I could be a little demon. Mm -mm, I could be a little demon. <laughs> Do you take unfollows on Instagram personally? No, I don't. Oh my God, if you don't follow me, that's fine. Cause I want my, my follow count to be low anyway. And then half the time, I don't really want to be looking at people's pages. I be so aggy, like, like, I recently started unfollowing people and I unfollow people all the time. Like, and I know a lot of people be feeling away cause then they'll block me, but it's like, ew, grow up. That's that childish stuff that we be talking about. But yeah, no, I don't take it personal at, at all. If you don't follow me, that's fine. Like, you know? But yeah, people be feeling the way when I follow them, so whatever. But some of y'all pages, I be like, oh my God. Like, personally, I wouldn't even want to be around y'all, so why am I following y'all? People be like, oh my God, you don't follow me. I be like, for real? Oh my God, it was my assistant. No, it wasn't. It was me. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> okay, what's the first thing you notice about a man? How they smell. I love how a guy smells. Oh my God, if you wear cologne, like the right type of cologne, like... I love that. Oh my God, I love it so much. But yeah, I think that's the first thing. And then the second thing is like a shape up. Like I'm a shape up whore. I love a man that keeps it aligned, you know? Cause I feel like you aligned with me. <laughs> What's the wildest rumor you heard about yourself? Oh my God, I heard that I cracked somebody over the head with a, uh, uh, a liquor bottle, a champagne bottle. And that's not true. Somebody I was with did it. <laughs> like, what the hell? It was not me. Don't, like, don't be saying stuff like that about me. I would never do that. I use my fists. I use these hands. <laughs> Yeah, but it's like, ew, don't put that on me. Like, <laughs> but yeah, it was semi true. How many fights have you been in? Oh my God, a lot. I used to fight a lot when I was younger and I liked to fight, like when I was younger. I used to like to fight. So I, I got into like a lot of fights. And I used to get jumped a lot. Like I got jumped probably like four times ever in my life. But it's funny because I don't be running my mouth. So bitches just be hating. Like back in the day, they used to be hating. But yeah, too many to count. <laughs> What's your best piece of dating advice? Don't be trying to um, get wiped up in the club. Ladies, what is wrong with y'all? And I know y'all think because the scammers and the drug dealers and the rappers and the who's to know be in the club, but don't do it. Don't do it. Like, people be drunk, just drunken in love in the club. And you're not going to find nothing in there but a headache, all right? And a guy that loves to be there, like, every Tuesday, Friday, and Wednesday night and Thursdays. Because, you know, everybody, people be clubbing all during the week, and I don't like that. So don't try to find love in the club. The love does not exist in the club. Like, go to Home Depot, get a man that's working for something, that's trying to build something at Home Depot. Um, Go to the library, because we love a man that reads. Hello. What's the most embarrassing place you had to take a shit in. I think it was a cookout one time and somebody cooked something wrong in the grill and I really had to take a shit, like real, 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 real bad. But I didn't, but I, real, real bad I did at a cookout in the park. Yeah, cause sometimes you don't trust everybody's food. And I've been knowing this, but I be feeling like the grill is safe, but no, it's not. No, it's not. Whatever happened that day, it was all wrong. And money by happiness. Um, I'm like 50-50 on this question, right? Because you could have everything and still be very, very unhappy. So, um, um, but 
but like going to the store and buying stuff, it makes me happy. So I'm like 50 50 on it. I'm obsessed with electronics, so I love cameras. Like, so, like any type of camera. I have so many cameras, so I'm just obsessed with cameras. So when I buy a camera, it makes me like, like any electronics. I have lab a bunch of laptops, iPads, so any electronic, it makes me happy. Oh, and buying my plants. Like, I love to buy plants. Like, my whole house looks like a jungle. So, yeah. Anybody buy me a plant or a camera? We locked in for lifers. What's the most unattractive thing a woman could wear? Oh my God, I think I'm gonna get it dragged by all the, 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 the big booty Instagram model girls, but I hate when y'all be wearing lingerie outside. Like, y'all be wearing dumb little neck things. What's some neck things that, and then now they got little glitter jewels all over them? I hate that because it just doesn't look good. I don't like it. And I'm sorry, y'all, because some of y'all follow me, and I like y'all. But I just don't like when y'all wear that. Like, keep the lingerie in the house. Like, I don't like that. Little bralettes with blazers, very cute, very classy, very mindful. But the lingerie, very disgusting, very um unmindful. <laughs> yeah, so I don't like that. I don't like it at all. What's something toxic you like? I like when a guy is possessive. I love it. I love when he says things that he should not say to me. <laughs> I just love it. I don't know. I love it. I love like uh, when a guy is just like mad possessive, but not like a healthy, like unhealthy possessive, but just like saying stuff like, like, I can't even think of it right now, but I love when a guy is like possessive of me and like overprotective. Yeah, overprotect me. <laughs> What's something weird that you enjoy? Ooh, I like soggy cereal. Yeah. I don't be eating cereal all the time like that no more because the milk be like tearing me up. But yeah, I love soggy cereal. Like, I don't like hard, crispy cereal. I don't like that in my mouth. I don't know the consistency. <laughs> the consistency is not for me. So yeah, I need my cereal to sit there for like five minutes, 10 minutes, and to like drench in the milk, and then I could eat it. Yeah, so yeah, I like soggy cereal. And somebody told me I was a cereal killer for liking that when I admitted it online <laughs> on Instagram. You microwave your cereal? Ew, you do that? Yeah. Oh my God, she's a cereal killer. <laughs> Have you ever cheated? If so, did you get caught? Uh, all right, so when I was younger, I did. I did cheat. Yeah, I did. I did it. And then um, I told her myself because I, mean, I, I felt bad. Like, that's one thing about me. I'm like, I have a conscience. So when I was younger, like in my heyday, right? When I used to run run, run the streets when I was younger, like like 10 years at least. Um, yeah, I had cheated. And it was sad because he cried. And I'm like, oh my God. That was like the first time I've seen like a guy cry or whatever, but yeah. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I meant it, I'm so sorry. But yeah, I told on myself because that's the right thing to do is tell on yourself. <laughs> What's something most people disagree with you on? All right, my friends will say I'm very emotional, but I don't believe that. <laughs> I just go through my emotions very heavily and more than the average person. So when I'm tight, I'm dumb tight. Like when I'm mad, like when I'm sad, I'm very sad. But when I'm happy, I'm happy as hell. But yeah, but other people, like, like my friends will say like, I'm very emotional and no, it's not. I go through my emotions very hard. <laughs> you already know it's Malibu Mitch and if it's not trash, it's trash. <laughs>